Hello and once again welcome to the latest episode of BOTB TV. My name is Christian Williams. And I'm Tim Oldland. And this is your rundown of all things BOTB and car news. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I, I, I said my name's Tim Oldland. I actually want to say my name is Kaiser Soze. Why Kaiser? <laughs> Uh, oh, because you're not into that film, are you? No, well, because this week's In the Headlights cars are the unusual suspects. Ah, right, yeah, okay. See? Got yeah. it, got it. And actually, talking of that, let's take a little look at when Tim got a little bit more familiar with one of the cars in the headlights this week. The brand new urban automotive Range Rover Velar that was actually unveiled at the Autosport International Show last week. Mm. I'm here at the Autosport International Show looking at this, the urban Velar. Okay, so this is the Urban Velar. Now this one is based on the P380, so this has got the rather funky supercharged 3.0-litre V6, 380 PS, 370-something horsepower, and lots and lots of carbon. Let me just show you around it. As you can see, this has just got carbon for days. You've got the carbon front grille there. We'll move down, carbon grills at the side. I mean, it's basically, carbon absolutely everywhere on this thing. And something else we've got in the headlights this week is a camper van. This is the Mercedes uh, Marco Polo camper van and we wanted to put it in because a couple of months ago we put in the uh, Volkswagen California camper van and you guys absolutely loved it. So we thought we'd put this in just for a week. If you love it, we'll stick it in for good. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, it's, it's a tricky one to, you know, which one do you go for? Which one do people like? The classic, you've got the very classic Volkswagen camper, the California there, but Mercedes have sort of gone, right, we'll take that and we'll make it more premium, maybe. Yeah. Uh, they're around the same price. One's cooler, one's a bit more premium. Yeah. We don't know. So we'll see how that gets on in the competition this week. Yeah, and another car that's in the headlights this week is this. Now, a we, Hyundai, we've, really? Yeah, we've had Skoda, and now we've got the <laughs> Hyundai i30N Performance. Now, this is, a, this is an interesting one. This has been requested a lot by people on Facebook and all over the place. Uh, it's kind of the hot hatch of the moment. It's 271 horsepower, front wheel drive. Right. This is a proper, credible Golf GTI rival. Wow. Yeah. And I quite like that paint, actually, on it as well. It's, I think it's a great looking car. It really is. Okay. I mean, I've, well. I've yet to drive it. Hint, hint, <laughs> high and I. So, uh, <laughs> well, if you're playing for that this week, good luck. Uh, and last but definitely not least, this very angry looking uh, Dodge Charger Hellcat. It is probably the craziest car, I think, out of the four that we've got. Uh, I think so. I mean, 700 horsepower yeah. in a fairly ordinary ish. Looks like a Stormtrooper's helmet. It does, actually. It's, yeah. it's a fairly ordinary, you know, four door saloon with 700 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, that is seriously loud. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, if, I think if you're going to play for that and you win, you probably hear us coming. And we like to go back to our older winners sometimes, don't we? So we're going to head over to an Englishman in New York, no, uh, an Englishman in Seattle, uh, <laughs> right. over on the west coast of the US. Here is uh, Lalo Krem from back in November 2013. <laughs> We've arranged for a cardboard wheel to attend. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to go, which I'd love to have done this time. Well, uh, I'm Rick, and I've had a call from Best of the Best competition. And you'll probably, yesterday, oh and you'll probably recognize this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we've got a surprise for you to see down in the parking lot. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. It's a $113,000, 510. Hundred and thirteen five ten. Wow. My knees uh, feel like they're going to give away, and I just, I just, I just can't believe this. This is unbelievable. You can't believe it. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Wow. Here we go. <laughs> 
I absolutely love it when we surprise people at work and all their colleagues come out just yeah. to you know, give them a big cheer. And then it's usually quite funny because the winner has to take all of their colleagues out for lunch. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> now we've just added a brand new car to the BOTB lineup and it comes in the form of this. It's a Kia, but it's not just any old Kia. This is the Stinger GTS. Yep, GTS. Uh, and I have just had this thing for a week and I've been playing around with this a lot and it's a cracker. Uh, and you and I drove it, didn't we? We did. Uh, so let's take a look. One of the cars that quite a few of you have been asking questions about, as it's a bit of a wolf in sheep's clothing, I would say. It is. Is this. Tim's brought it along today. It's the brand new Kia Stinger. Yeah, this is the Stinger GTS, right? So it's a Kia. You see this and it's, oh, you know, you know just a Kia. People see it driving by. This is 365 horsepower, rear wheel drive. I didn't know it was rear wheel drive. Yeah, yeah, and trust me, it's very rear wheel drive. It's very <laughs> greasy out there today, and this thing can go sideways. So we'll be driving in the Kia Singer GT for only a few minutes now. Yeah. I'm already quite liking it. It's, it's definitely surprising, I think. People are gonna be really surprised by these things. Now, now talk to me about some figures on this, because it's more than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, in every respect, really. It's 40 grand. People think that's a lot for a Kia. But it's then when you look at the other stats that are more than you think they are, that it actually sort of all works out. Uh, it's got a 3.3 litre twin turbo V6, which is nice. Uh, going to the rear wheels, only to the rear wheels, and it goes. Yeah, it's definitely not slow. As you can tell, that's um, <laughs> 100 miles per hour. So it only comes in a four door. Yep, yep, a four-door hatchback thing like this. Right. Uh, we've got fully adaptive cruise control, so you know, brakes you and yep, active city stop and all good. that stuff. Uh, we've got heated seats. We've got cooled. And this, is, this is all a standard. Yep, we've got cooled seats as well. Right. Uh, I've got a nice head-up display in front of me as well. Okay. Which is very, very handy. The inside of it is quite nice. It is. It's a lovely design. I mean, this is very much like the new Merc E-Class. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think? Are you sold? I actually am. I never thought I'd see the day where I'd say, yeah, I don't know Kia, but today's that day. I think it's fantastic. Well, this is online at botb.com at the moment, so you could be winning this car if you are playing for it. Good luck. You can, of course, see Tim and I giving that car the full rundown in a video on our YouTube channel, which will come out very soon. Yeah, you can indeed. Now, we finished this week with a little quick highlights package uh, of the Autosport International show. Uh, see, I went along to it to have a look. Very and, lucky guy. Uh, there is so much there to see. It was, it was a brilliant, brilliant day out. Uh, took some film, so uh, roll tape. Hey, everybody, and welcome to the Autosport International show here at the NEC in Birmingham. Now, tuned cars are quite a theme here at the Autosport International Show, including this. An Alfa Romeo Giulio Quadrifoglio, which, you know, 500 horsepower normally, not really what you'd call underpowered. Now with 590, thanks to the guys at Celtic Tuning. I want to go in this. Here we've got Archie's pink R8, satin pink. So what do we think? I actually like it, you know, I've seen it a few times now and it's grown on me every single time. I may even prefer it to the purple chrome. If you know me, you know that I love a bit of exposed carbon, but you know that's one thing that's better than exposed carbon, and that's exposed colored carbon. And this has got beautiful green carbon bodywork. Okay, so that was the Autosport International Show. So many fantastic cars around here. Uh, I just want to buy them all and tune them and drive them. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time. It looks like you had a good time.
safe to say. Uh, yeah, it's a brilliant show. Brilliant now, show. the next big car show in the calendar, of course, is Geneva. Mm -hmm. And Tim and I have our tickets and we are ready to go. And we'll, of course, be making lots more content as soon as we're there. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one again. Uh, so anyway, that's it for this week. So uh, thanks everybody for watching and we'll see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Remember to hit subscribe and give us a little thumbs up if you like this and we'll see you next week. Cheers.